백선배야 워낙에 전설이 원 아닙니까? 또라이는 맞는데 뒤지고 싶어 환장한 건 너거든요. Hi and welcome back. Korean spy series have grown in popularity over the years, with viewers around the world captivated by their thrilling storylines and dynamic characters. From romantic comedies to intense thrillers, these shows offer something for everyone. Number 10. Mad Dog A former Taeyang insurance investigator named Choi Kang Woo becomes determined to build a personal investigation team after an airplane crash that took the life of his wife and son. He meets Kim Min Joon, a genius former swindler whose brother was also killed in the crash, and they begin their rivalry and cooperation. The drama depicts the country's reality through popular insurance crimes that happen to be popular in Korea. There are the copycats that imitate and improve the existing crime, and the mad dogs who catch the copycats. Mad Dog has a 7.7 .7 rating in IMDb. <laughs> Number 9. My Girlfriend is an Agent Han Suji spends her time as a secret agent seeking a prospective bride as a realtor. Her real-life boyfriend Jae Chon is truly upset with her frequent absences and finds it almost impossible to believe her excuses. Jae Chon then decides to leave both her and Korea. So, Ji makes one more effort to reach the Pyonghee at the airport Incheon International Airport, but the girl is busy busting an international crime network. My girlfriend is an agent has a 6.3 rating in IMDb. Number 8. The Ku. Kim Jae Ha is a former soldier known as Ku who suddenly becomes a fugitive when he is wrongfully accused of murdering his sweetheart while he was serving in Iraq. He returns to South Korea and gets a job as a bodyguard for Jess security owner Choi Yoo Jin, the wife of presidential candidate Jang Si Joon. Ji Ha plans to use his job planning his revenge on Park Kwon Su, the current leader of the ruling party and Si Joon's rival, who Ji Ha believes ordered the murder of his girlfriend. Jae Ha is assigned to guard Go An Ai, the reclusive, illegitimate daughter of Si Joon, and they begin to develop feelings for each other. But what will the outcome be when the person who wants to harm Anna the most is Eugene Jehae's boss and Jehae's Ali? The Q has a 7.8 rating in IMDb. So, I saw an article about this. That's because you don't want to kill any of the people. Where are you going? Number seven, The Veil, an international crime drama with a protagonist who's a top North Korean officer from the Nineties. In his quest to find out who betrayed his agency, he confronts a larger enemy deep within the organization. Han Ji Hyuk is the top agent in the NICE. He is respected and feared by his colleagues for his skills at completing assignments and high-profile achievements. Ji Hyuk disappeared at the worst moment when he was a central figure in the Syndicate's descent into devastation. With his memory lost, Ji Hyuk must be assigned to a menial task to create his psychological stability. While on the team, Seo Su Yeon meets teammate Ji Yi, who's sensitive and heartwarming but has a troubled past. Seo Su Yeon is the director of Team 4 of the Crime Information Center who excels at her duties and solving cases. She loves her colleagues greatly and she deeply cares for them in particular. The Veil has a 7.5 rating in IMDb. Number 6. Vagabond Che Dalgun becomes an angry tiger against his nephew's tragic death in a mysterious airplane crash. As an orphan himself, he struggled to raise his nephew only by himself instead of his brother who had died. Unmoved by a large-scale cover-up of the mishap, he sets off on a quest to uncover the facts. Hari is the daughter of a Marine who perished during an operation. She wanted to be an arbiter of law to support her family, but life had other plans, and she became a national intelligence operations assistant. Their lives intertwined as they uncovered a tangled web of corruption, resulting from an accident. Vagabond has a 8.1 rating in IMDBI. <laughs> Number 5. 
Secret Royal Inspector Rai Yingyin has a dream to open a small dumpling restaurant and run the eatery. He wants to have a simple retirement, but he is smart enough to pass the new state exam he's just taken. With his work within the Office of Special Advisors, he's given a chance at a prestigious government job. Then, he becomes a part of Royal Guards, charged with secret missions. It is a great honor for Rei Yian and his family that he is now a royal agent. At home, he maintains a laid-back life and his retired status doesn't change. His life changes after he meets Kim Joy. Kim Joy's mind is full of curiosity. She has a progressive perspective on Joseon periods where she thinks it's okay to divorce. Kim Joy is currently undergoing the process of divorce. Her husband is addicted to gambling and she is his mother's son. Kim Joy's spouse is also denying their divorce proceedings. Then, when Kim Joy comes to the conclusion of her divorce process, she meets with Ra Yi Eon. Secret Royal Inspector has a 7.2 rating in IMDb. Number 4. Good Casting Baek Chan Mi was a famous black agent for the Niai, but because she was so intolerable, her subordinate died and she missed catching her client. Baek Chan Mi was punished for that botched case and now has work in the NIST cybersecurity team. Baek Chan Mi is then designated to go undercover on a case where cyber theft is occurring at Korea's biggest company. Good Casting has a 7.1 rating in IMDb. Number 3. Terius behind me. Goirang was suddenly widowed. A mysterious man, Kim Bon, lives close by. Kim Bon is the topness agent in the area. Three years ago, he was involved in a debacle and his dear one passed away. Sadly, he has been detached from the rest of the world and lives alone quietly. He helps his neighbor Goa Rhine uncover a scheme and her husband was privy to. Terius behind me has a 7.6 rating in IMDb. Number 2. Man to Man Only a few people at the top of the National Intelligence Service know Kim Sul Woo's true identity. The specialist, who is capable and deft, is capable of carrying out any risky or important assignment given to him. Sul Wu's professionalism as a cultivator is largely based on what he does in public. One day, Sul Wu was requested to penetrate the champagne cocktail party held by Song and Group Chairman Victor, a Russian oil tycoon, in order to take the legendary wooden carvings. Man to Man has a 7.4 rating in IMDb. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to watch series like Alchemy of Souls, Revenge of Others, or The First Responders, but they are not available in your country due to geographical restrictions, you are in luck. NordVPN can help you with this problem. Right now, NordVPN is offering a mega discount plus four free months with the exclusive link that is in the description. If you want to access thousands of series from all over the world on your favorite streaming platforms like Netflix, Prime Video, or Hulu, NordVPN is the perfect solution and you will surely be satisfied. And if you are not, they offer you 30 days to make a return and you will get all your money back. Now, let's get back to the video. Number 1. City Hunter Lee Yun Sung is an intelligent MIT graduate who works on the White House's communications team under the supervision of Lee Jin Pyo. He pursues revenge against five government officials who caused his father's death with a surrogate father figure named Lee Jin Pyo and eventually becomes known throughout the city as City Hunter. City Hunter has an 8.1 rating in IMDb. Do you like this video? Check others' videos here and subscribe to be notified about our most recent videos. See you next time. Goodbye.